Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video here on the new bite. Today I'm gonna take a quick look into Pokemon Let's Go and user reviews on Metacritic. This is a very special case as we've been hearing from fan backlash all the time regarding this game. And I myself actually got it uh, the day it launched. Both versions, Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee for a reasonable price and um, I gotta say, it's interesting to see these very interesting opinions. Let's just dive into it, right? Because um, there's certainly a lot of things here that just can be uh, directly linked to not having even played this thing. This is a review. I'm painfully disappointed with this cash grab. Nintendo's decided to shove up all up to shove up all up in our faces. What is James cash grab with little effort put into an air of this? This game is very bad. Yeah, like there's some really interesting reviews here. Most of them seem to reasonably argue that um, there are just basically not all the contents in there that they are used to from the previous games. There's a very long, uh, which I can see, okay, just giving two points, that seems reasonable. And then there again, other people that give like um, free rating that just basically stay, oh, but this is just for the kids, think about it for a minute. This is a game aimed at kids that lacks a very good portion of depth from previous games from the franchise. And yes, it does lack that, because it's not a regular Pokemon game, it's a Pokemon Let's Go game. These are specifically produced to not be the core RPG. And it goes on and on and on like that, so... Few Pokemon, there's so many less uh, strategy, um, strategic things in this game. Um, like, for example, oh, let's skip on here. Like, there are no held items and there are no abilities, which are used, of course, to, for example, to give a Pokemon a berry, which it can use to heal itself. Uh, an ability, uh, for example, would be like getting an armor upgrade, which prevents the Pokemon to be one shot by critical hit and something like that. So, um, that that sure is an argument to say, okay, the game is not as good, but does it make the game bad? There for it. Like, just because there are things not in there that you would want to see in that, is that an argument to say, oh, it's lacking content? Because uh, from what I see right now, all these people mostly are talking about is just straight up, they are missing not content necessarily, but features. Strategic features, gameplay features, maybe. And I get that people are disappointed in some sense because they want to fight other Pokemon in battles, not just with trainer battles, but uh, just go into the wild and see Pokemon. And again, like, this is the deal actually that you don't need to do that. For one, you can see it. Yeah, let's go back to this arcade. You can see in the world here how Pokemon are just running around freely instead of having random spawns just by walking through high grass. I personally am so much a fan of the system, and I hope that this also makes a return in the new Pokemon 2019 full-on RPG game, which we know it is coming. Pokemon Let's Go is not the full game. The next one in 2019, that is the game that most people are waiting for. And I hope that this aspect of Pokemon running around, actually, that this will come back. Because it's just awesome, because uh, one, you can just walk down and say, okay, uh, I, just, I just need to go through this area, okay, but I don't want to fight anyone because I just want to go to the next city, right? I would specifically say I want to forego all the battles. And you can just do that just by walking past everyone in a straight line. But uh, on the other hand, there are so many crazy things happening, like you can see actual cool Pokemon popping up, like uh, evolutions and uh, even legendaries apparently, they're just running around in the world. And you can see them just because they pop out out of the grass. And to me this makes it even more exciting to see, okay, what's happening, what is the next Pokemon running around? Again, for the RPG game, I can fully understand and even hope for the fans for God that they have the actual old fighting style back, but with this little change, maybe. Could be really cool. And yeah, just scroll through, like, um, if you go to the top of the page, we see, okay, there are 345 positive reviews, 38 in the middle, and 343 negative ones. And again, I'm saying, like, there are reasonably uh, reviews here, as you can see with this by Universal Review. It's a very long, uh, lots of explanations, and I can see, like, okay, there are things that they're missing. But again, there are features where I say, hey, um, features are one thing, content is a different one. Are 
gameplay features content necessarily. I'd say we strictly have to split that and say no. Because uh, one thing actually differentiates how you play a game, and the other thing, content is for how long you play the game. Which, again, in a sense, okay, you could say, oh, because if you have like Pokemon and if you have to train them in a certain way, this leads to playing the game longer. I, I get that, yeah. But it's about story and how much there is in the world compared to gameplay mechanics, okay? I'm just saying, man. I, I hope that you leave your thoughts about this in the comments down below. It is just really sad to see how this works out. If you go over on the critic reviews, I usually always go to Open Critic. Uh, we see lots of reviews that are just stating what they want, of course. But for the main overviews, we have lots of 8 to 9 point reviews. Lots of 8 uh, reviews and even 3 stars minimum. Like There's no review that given that. Like, two stars and even talking to fans like uh that i know specifically in the real world they were saying like oh the game is not perfect and by no means no game is perfect necessarily but uh they almost always say there's so many good things in here and i really hope that many newcomers are coming to the game at least i think that it really helps to bring more people to buy a nintendo switch and more people to actually get into gaming and I suppose that is what this game is for, for people that are just saying, hey, I play Pokemon Go for like for two years now, and then we see a full console game, and it's not difficult. You can play it with one hand, and it doesn't expect too much from you. It gives you only 150 Pokemon, and I hope that it will expand on. My review is still set up to do, because I'm only like 40% uh, through the game. I just... Uh, went past the Lavender Tower, uh, so I'm not really that deep into the game. Uh, I'm just reading up about the specific changes. And uh, we see also, now, okay, uh, there are Mega Evolutions in here, which only came around with uh, Gen 6. And other things like abilities and holding items, uh, stuff that are missing from Generation 2 and 3. And I guess they just cherry-picked for this, for Let's Go. So yeah, um, that is my video here on Pokemon Let's Go, getting Metacritic bombs. And it's interesting just how many people are yelling back into the void and seeing now. Oh yeah, they're getting actually a lot of support. I'm not sure how many of them are real users. I would expect a lot of them. Like we've won by World EG for Smash. More games are ruining the video game industry. Once games were about overcoming a challenge. No, their instant gratification simulators that basically play themselves. And would you look at that? Go success directly caused an easier, casualized can to pandering, low effort cash grab completely devoid of passion. Pokemon is a zombie series. Like, oh my god, chill, dude. <laughs> Again, like, uh, <laughs> it's so weird to see. We know 2019 will have a full on Pokemon game. Uh, Jesus Christ. Tries to be a true Pokemon game. No, it's not a true Pokemon game. It, it's not. It has Let's Go in the title. Tries to be a Pokemon Go game. Yeah, that, that is true. An epic fail to that. No, it really doesn't. Like, lots of people are buying it. And I can see why. Looks like a Frankenstein one so bad mechanics and do we need another character game? Has a less content than Farrah to left brain. Yeah, um, let's game mechanics. Which is the whole idea of let's go. It it just boggles my mind. Again, there there's some reasonable points in here that I highly encourage you to, to, to go through them yourselves just to see how they're going. But so many are just repeating over and over the same lines. Removing over 600 creatures. It's not removing creatures if you're doing a remake of the Gen 1 games. Gen 1 only had 151 Pokemon. So... <sighs> right, guys. So, that's my morning video for you. I hope you had a nice day, or will have a nice day. And I'll talk to you again in the next one. Have a nice day, and see you soon. Bye-bye.